Welcome back to the channel. I'm Dan, this is Neo Mustangs, and this is my Fox Body Mustang channel. As most of you guys know, we've been testing out the new Tremec TKX 600 here in our black turbo Mustang. And as most of you know that's, that's been on the channel, this car makes over 600 wheel torque and horsepower, so it makes it for a good platform to test. But we're not here to talk about that today. We're actually here to talk about the transmission itself and what do you do when after you install it. You should probably be checking out, you know, making sure that you have a good clutch adjustment. But another thing you need to be doing is after the break-in, you have to be changing your fluid. Now, much like my T56 Magnums that I run in these cars, I run Dex3 in my stuff. Just the simple Dex3 fluid that you get at the parts store. We opted to try the, the Pennzoil Synchro Mesh, which is also a manual transmission fluid. And Synchro Mesh has been around for many years and always has been a good transmission fluid for your manual transmission. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the car up in the air, we're gonna go onto here and we're gonna actually take the fluid out of the transmission and show you what it looks like. Now, if you haven't changed transmission fluid after a new rebuilt transmission or even a new transmission, you probably would freak out with what you saw. And I said, that's just normal. You're gonna probably see a silver hue to it. You're gonna probably see what looks like junk fluid. And it's really not. When you get a new transmission and you go through a break-in period, whether it's rebuilt or new, you have to change its transmission fluid after about 250 or so miles, or what I like to call heat cycles. So that's really all we're here to do today is to take the fluid out of the transmission and to show you what kind of what it looks like after the break-in, just so you have an idea of what it looks like when that's, that happens, if you ever happen to buy a new brand new TKX. And guys, if you haven't already, make sure you check out Hanlon Motorsports, because Hanlon Motorsports is where I got the TKX 600 from. Naturally, I've done a comparison video already, if you want to check out my other videos on my channel. But there's also another channel, Brutal Vlogs, if you want to check his channel out. As most of you guys are probably already subscribed to Brutal, he also is making a shakedown on the new TKX 600, much like I am. He's doing it with a 287 first gear closed ratio, and he's also shaking it down a little bit differently than I am. So if you really want to get all the information when you want to buy that Tremec TKX, then you should be checking out both channels and stay in tune. Because I'm going to test its limits and see if it actually breaks. Our Brutal is going to give his experience and what he feels about the TKX. So make sure you go check out his channel as well. Let's get this car up. Let's get the drain plug. Let's start getting this thing drained out so we can show you the fluid. It's just a side video in between us testing it at the track. It's time for us to change the transmission fluid because I'm pretty sure at this point it's pretty broken after the track passes we just had. All right, so this is gonna be a little bit difficult to get in here um, with my pipes all here in a way, because you see I made this uh, wide pipe, three inch wide pipe, but I should be able to get a ratchet in here and get this thing draining. Uh, it gives me a chance to get in here and look at some of this. Uh, I do have a little bit of a leakage from here, looks like. That's from something else. Probably this little gasket here, which is pretty nice, man. I'm pretty happy with the fact. All right, let's get a ratchet on here and start getting it drained and you get a chance to see it firsthand. ratchet on there and I got a clean bucket here we'll be able to actually sift through some of the fluid and actually get an opportunity to see what it looks like uh, when it first comes out so I do I do expect it to not be red I do expect it to be like a grayish like a silver hue which is perfectly normal I'm pretty excited to see uh, maybe we'll fish around for some chunks <laughs> hey shout out to Pat Turchin channel member uh, for giving me some of these LED lights they're kind of craziness but they're really bright um, and if you guys get a chance to check out that membership below the join button, he's part of the channel membership um, Got some got some perks going on there, and I think you guys would enjoy it just it goes back to support the channel So thank you for all who does all right see if I can get a problem here. Just a 3 8 ratchet 
I'm sure it wasn't. Hopefully we don't get it all over our pipe here. I don't get it all over my arm trying to film this, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. That's what brake cleaner's for. We'll get it loose. It actually looks pretty good, guys. It really doesn't have much of a silver hue to it. But there's only about three quarts in here, so it, it drains pretty quick. I didn't even get it on my exhaust. Look at that. Take a light to it here in a second. Does not look bad for having dyno hits, 500 miles on it, and six track passes at max horsepower. Huh. Let's see if I see any chunks in here. Up. Oh. What's what? Oh, never mind. That's just the uh, that's just a little blocker up in there. Hmm. All right, so we'll go ahead and tighten the drain back up and we will loosen the fill, which is right up over there. And we'll get our apparatus out. Little thing I made years ago. I mean, they have the pumps now, there's so many different things that you can buy now. It's I made this little water pump looking thing years ago, and it's always been pretty successful, even with gear fluid. Nice and tight. Go ahead and clean our stuff off. All right, so I don't really see, you know, you could you could kind of see the silver hue in it. You see it from the synchronizers. Got a little bit of gearish stuff in there. Yeah, that's that's normal. You might be able to see a little bit of sparkles or whatever. But yeah, guys, that's normal fluid. That that's not terrible at all. I expected it to be a little bit worse than that, but it wasn't. So we're just gonna simply. I'm going to put you on a little time lapse. I'm going to zip three quarts of synchro fluid in it, and then we'll talk about it here in a second. Do some cleaning. So it's not all dirty and stuff i just do some brake cleaner dries fast and i clean my floor all the time so no big deal all right youtube that's pretty much all i got for you today i hope you got some use from it 2.8 quarts of fluid is all it takes got a chance to see a fresh transmission fluid taken out of the transmission that just had its ass whooped literally but uh wasn't too bad had a little hue to it like normal had little sparkles to it that's normal so we're going to continue with the new fresh fluid we're going to continue breaking it in it's going to probably shift just as good as it did before not really asking for a better shift but this is more of a maintenance thing that you're supposed to do with your transmission after 500 miles or whatever but guys if you enjoy the channel make sure you hit that like and subscribe on the way out get a chance to look at that channel membership that's that join button below any, every little bit helps for the channel, helps me to do things like this, helps me bring content to you. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel and thanks for subscribing. But before we go, like I said earlier in the video, go check out Hannah Motorsports. They got Tremec TKXs ready to ship. And I do have a discount code, free swag Neo, right here in this picture. You will get free shipping and a t-shirt, which is about $150 savings if you order from Hannah Motorsports. So. Check it out before they run out of stock. See you guys soon in the next video.